Here's the latest from Earth Now. A new technology called fracking releases natural gas from shale formations and could supply domestic energy demand for the next hundred years. Fracking is good news for some and bad news for others. Here's how. This view of Earth at night shows lights in 1992, 2002, and 2012. Notice how many more areas lit up over the last 20 years. The world's energy consumption is growing. Energy sources are considered renewable if they can be used and regenerated quickly, such as solar, wind, and hydropower. Non-renewable energy sources include fossil fuels from plants and animals that lived long ago. Over millions of years, heat and pressure converted them into underground deposits of oil, coal, and natural gas. According to this U.S. Energy Information Administration pie chart, nearly 90% of the energy we use to power our cars, homes, and businesses comes from fossil fuels. Less than 10% comes from renewable sources, shown as the green wedge. There are two big concerns with increased use of fossil fuels. One, burning fossil fuels releases carbon dioxide into the air, a greenhouse gas, causing Earth to gradually become warmer. Two, fossil fuels are a non-renewable resource. Once we use them up, they will be gone. As the world population grows dependent on electricity and motorized transportation, people seek new energy sources and ways to reach sources that used to be too difficult to tap. New technology has made it possible to recover gas from shale. This map sketches the distribution of shale gas and oil formations in 42 countries around the world. Estimates put China with the most recoverable shale gas, followed by Argentina, Algeria, the United States, Canada, and Mexico. Shale formations are often more than a mile underground. Hydraulic fracturing, or fracking, uses water under pressure to fracture the shale and release natural gas so it can be extracted by the rig at the surface. The bad news is that each well uses about 3 million gallons of water laced with chemical additives to fracture the shale. Improper handling of wastewater could contaminate groundwater or deplete freshwater aquifers in drought-prone areas. Another issue is that fracking wastewater disposal can sometimes trigger earthquakes. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, out of 40,000 wastewater wells, only a few have caused earthquakes of any concern. A 4.0 earthquake in Youngstown, Ohio in 2011 and tremors in other places that never registered them before have people on edge. The good news is natural gas burns cleaner than coal, releasing less pollution and carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. It also reduces U.S. dependence on foreign oil. Shale gas is an increasingly important energy source in the United States, making up 34% of natural gas production by 2012 and growing, as shown by the green part of this chart of natural gas production by source starting in 1990 and projected to 2040. Following the successful fracking of the Barnett Shale in Texas and Marcellus Shale in Pennsylvania, fracking is starting in other countries like China and South Africa. Many questions remain about the risks and benefits of fracking to release natural gas from shale, and they affect all of us through the energy we use, the water we drink, and the air we breathe.